Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from the Old Testament book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, otherwise known as Hannah's Prayer. Then Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. Do not keep talking so proudly, or let your mouth speak such arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows, and by him deeds are weighed. The bows of the warrior, the bows of the warriors are broken, and those who stumbled are armed with strength, and those who were full hire themselves out for food, but those who were hungry are hungry no more. So who was barren has borne seven children, but she who has many sons pines away. The Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and raises up. The Lord spends, sends poverty and wealth. He humbles and he exalts. The, he raises the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes. And he has them inherit the throne of honor. For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful servants, but the wicked will be silenced in the place of darkness. It is not my strength that one, or by any strength that one prevails. Those who oppose the Lord will be broken, for the Most High will thunder from heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. This prayer of Hannah is quite famous. It reminds us of the prayer of Mary. The prayer of mothers as they exalt the Lord for the birth of their child and how important they are. These two women, Mary, Hannah and then Mary, dedicate their children to the Lord. And long before they're even born, they, at the conception stage, they have committed this child to the Lord their God. And God does remarkable things. His plans are not thwarted, but advanced by the faith of these mothers. This is where everything begins to change. We should never underestimate our valuing of those that follow us. And what a remarkable change it brings in this world. There were many other sons born to kings and to priests and to good families that did not turn out the way that this poor, humbled Hannah son would. His name would become Samuel, and from him kings would be anointed in the path set for all of Israel, a preparing for the Son of God. But it took humility of a woman who humbled herself and asked of the Lord for a good thing and dedicated what she received to God's use. Tonight, you might be wondering where all your options are going. Where is your strength? What have you got left? What more could you do than what you have already done and still it's not working out? Well, try something different. Try what Hannah tried, try what Mary tried, and humble yourself to the Lord, and then promise to give back what he gives you. Realize you're just a steward of things in this world. You can never really hang it on to it. And the good things that God gives needs his good, sustaining, and intervening work in it all the time. The Lord gives and he takes away. He exalts and he corrects. I don't know what phase in this journey you're in, but if you would 
rededicate and humble yourself before God. And as Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God, then the rest follows. But it begins tonight with humility before God. Let us pray. Lord, tonight we admit <coughs> that uh, we're not in control. We never really had it. We might have been praised by other people and people tell us that we can do amazing things if we would just dream and believe and are positive enough. But Lord, tonight we humble ourselves and accept that nothing is going to happen. Nothing good will result from all our efforts unless you are in it. So now, tonight, Lord, we surrender our past, our worries about the future, and what we could do. We put it all into your hands and ask you and your will to be done, that it would be a part of your kingdom. We dedicate our lives, our businesses, our careers, our families, our thoughts, our desires, all into your hands, and pray that you would use it all for advancing the kingdom of God, that we might know your grace, that we might realize that you have heard our prayer and you have said, yes, I will use you. So here we are, Lord, now, realizing without you, we are nothing. With you, all things are possible. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. God desires to be your God, your Lord, your Savior. He loves you very much. Never doubt that. He is on your side if you would be on his side for the advancing the message of an upside-down kingdom where the humble are exalted and the proud are brought low, where the poor are supplied for and those who have riches begin to crumble and lose unless the Lord is exalted in our lives. I'm so glad you've joined us for Vespers tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you had, I hope you'll hit the share button below or the like button or pass it on in any way you can on your social media that other people can discover and find Vespers. That's every Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too. God's country. Come to God's people. Come to God's word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.